eggnog. Hey guys, this is Shadowguard here with a post New Year's Eve update. Um, I just wanted to show you some of the projects I'm working on and you know, just give you guys a basic idea of what I plan to do for the new year. Qu quick thing, I don't know if this is happening everywhere, but at the Kroger's around my house, all of their Nerf guns are 50% off. So, being that, I got stuff like a Proton for 6 bucks and a Deploy for 10 So yeah, um, that's pretty nice, and I got some darts cheap too. Um, so like, you know, they have Whistlers and Tagger Darts at mine, I don't know what, they didn't, my Kroger's is very barren, um, but yeah, so I, you know, check that out if you're in town or anything, um, also, I wanted to point out something about my review on the Hunter, there are a couple things I did not know at the time that I put the video up, First thing is that the back opens and you can store four darts in there, and so that's really good. The other thing is that this gun very easily takes Whistler darts, and I don't know about Taggers, I haven't tried them yet, but Whistlers fit perfectly, and while they um, still does not shoot great, um, if you remember my video, I got maybe 25. This gun shoots terribly. It's definitely going to need a mod. But, um, it is fixed, by the way. But yeah, I just wanted to point those out. Um, I also did not point out that I got a Praxis for Christmas. Instead of showing an unboxing and video, I could not wait to get this. So I went ahead and unboxed it, um, and did some mods to it. I can pull the trigger... I can cock it, deprime it, although I can't deprime it with a disc. Um, but, I just sh this in there. See, even when you deprime it, you still get a disc in there. And when you deprime it like that, you'll have to eject the disc out. But that's not too bad. Um, so the, all the basic mods to this, nothing too terribly important. This. I will have a video for what I did to that deploy coming up right after I put this one up. Um, last thing, I have a surprise to show you guys. You can guess that this is going to be an integration into something. It's got my signature upside down as well as the name, I'm just calling it the DRV, which stands for really nothing. Um, it's just a bunch of letters that I randomly thought up. Just to give this thing a name, I will be adding it onto a gun, and I will show you that gun when the integration is complete. I have, I might need some more epoxy, I'm not sure, but other than that, everything's ready. The gun, the other gun's ready, you can see it, I've gotten this, um, sanded down and everything. One quick thing to point out, when you're doing something like this, if you guys have ever modded a Maverick before, you know that the trigger extends all the way back to here when you pull it. So you have to make sure that when you um, seal all this up, that you put like a cover over it. I took, um, I took a piece of plastic and bent it a little to cover right there, and then I took epoxy putty and basically layered it covered it and then wrapped it in electrical tape. So now there's no way that anything could get in there or that anything like the hot glue for example could fall in there and stick and just jam this up. Uh, so that's something very important just to make sure. You can also see that for space concerns I have cut this um, sled I guess in half basically. So basically the rail does nothing now um, I left this in just so to fill it. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, DRV is going to be integrated into a mystery gun. Although, if you guys know me, you should probably be able to guess what it is. But, so yeah, oh yeah, one more thing. I forgot to mention this. I got this, which is a 
twin tech from the in the twin te in the twin tech package. I know there's I think there's two. There's the twin tech and there's there's the tech four two pack. I don't remember. I don't think this is. I think this is just called Twin Tech. I'm not sure. Um, I'll probably do a review on this soon. I just got it really cheap for nothing really. Um, and it shoots very good for a Busby gun. Very good. I mean, like 30 feet just easily. I might even be able to get 40 out of this, which for a Busby gun is incredible. So yeah, I've taken up to, I've taken up enough of your time. Um, I got two more, three more videos coming up soon. Just keep an eye out for those, and happy New Year, I guess. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, guys.